<coughs> Hi YouTube. Um, going to Western for the weekend with Lee because I felt stressed out. Because <coughs> um, Kate, my job coach, told the Worcester Job Centre that I'm working. And now they want me to go in there with all my letters and everything, but it's just really stressing me out. I mean, this morning I haven't been able to sit in the flat for very long, I've just been really stressed. Uh, thinking about it all and everything. And just, I mean, I'm only doing nine hours a week though, I can't see what the problem is. We're allowed to do up to 15 hours on ESA and, and PIP. Um, no, 16, you're allowed to do 16 hours, a maximum of 16. But I'm only doing nine, so I can't see what the problem is. But I feel so stressed that oh, I need to get away for the weekend. Um, yeah, so. Oh, just hope it's going to be a nice weekend. And I'll probably have to get the 20 gig one on Gift Gaff because uh, 8 gig doesn't really last me very long, so. I'll probably have to get the 20 gig because I'm always running out on the 8 gig, so. So yeah, so uh, we've booked the hotel anyway, it's, uh, oh, what's it called? Anyway, we'll know when we get there. I, I know what it is, because it's on Lee's emails, but uh, yeah, so I just need to get the train down there now. So I'm going to Droidridge train station to get the train to Bristol and Cheltenham. I think it's Chelt no, Droidridge to Cheltenham, Cheltenham to Bristol, Bristol, Temple Meads to Western Supermount. Usually that's what it is. <coughs> well, it might be Felton Abbey Woods, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so a weekend in Western. Oh. I'm going to see, down to see Daniel on Monday as well. See Boo Boo on, on Monday because um, <coughs> I'm missing him a lot and he's missing me a lot and and he can't come up to see me because he hasn't got the money to. He did try the other week to come down, but he was he booked his ticket with National Express, but he was really sick. He had a sickness bug, so he couldn't make it to the coach station. Um, so I'm going to go down to see him on Monday. Uh, I was going to go down today to see him, but I can't because... Uh, because, um, because, um, because of what? Oh, because he's looking after his nan for the weekend, that's right. Yeah. His, his aunt's gone to... gone to... Um, gone on holiday. What's it called? Clacton, that's it. His aunt's gone down to Clacton on sea. So he's looking after his nan for the weekend, so, and I need you to get away, so I'm just going down to... Weston's the nearest holiday place from here, so I'm just going to go down to Weston with Lee. Um, yeah, for two days in Weston. And, uh, and de-stress a bit, hopefully. Hopefully de-stress a bit, yeah. That's the plan. I just, I don't know, I, I don't know if I can keep my cool, you see, because well, because of my autism, I'm not sure whether I can keep my cool, because autism is a communication disorder where the part of the brain that deals with communication isn't developed properly, or isn't, or doesn't function properly, so the person with autism generally gets very stressed and very angry when they don't understand something, so you could... So you could tell some, you could tell someone some, <coughs> you could tell someone something, and they could understand it. And you could tell someone with autism, <coughs> and you could tell someone with autism the same thing, and, uh, and they wouldn't have a, and they would just get stressed or wouldn't understand what you mean. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm stupid or anything. I just, well, I probably am, but yeah. But, um, <laughs> but um, oh, I don't know. Last time I went to a job centre, she, the woman says, what is autism? Oh my god. This was like five or more years ago. I nearly grabbed everything on the woman's desk, desk and chucked it off her. I just, oh. 
it's just that just really really frustrated me it's just when people are working with the general public and they don't understand be- and they don't understand very common and they don't understand very common conditions like autism or dyslexia or things like that they're very common conditions that people have you know it's probably one in four one in five you say the same kind of number as there is gay people in the world so it's very it's very common to have autism or, dys- or dyslexia so they should they should have some kind of training for that because how do, because working in the public you don't know who you're going to be dealing with you could be dealing with someone with schizophrenia or anything you just don't know who you're dealing with so they need some kind of training for that and she was just like oh what is autism she said to my social worker this is going back five or ten years and I just nearly grabbed everything off the I said I'm going out for some air because if I hadn't I'd have grabbed everything off the table and chucked it 